Hey, what's going on guys? Carter here. Have another knife review for you. As you can see, this is a Boker Plus. They're one of their economy lines of knives. Uh, it's a folder. It's the Boker S2. It's a collaboration between Boker and Sniper Blade Works. Uh, but before I start, sorry about the finger. I uh, cut that at the store a minute ago while I was picking up a few things on my Drama EDC, which is no longer my EDC as of now. A um, little bit of controversy about that knife. I may or may not talk about it in the future. Uh, you may or may not have seen that I had an EDC video update up for about half a day. Uh, those of you that saw it may not have noticed it went down, and if you didn't know it was there, you or if you didn't see it, you didn't know it was there, but it's down now for various reasons. Um, so I don't know. I may do some videos talking about it, or I may just, you know, push it to the back of my mind and move on. But anyways, before I get into looking at the knife, let's look at a couple things this knife comes with real fast. Comes with a extra pocket clip in case you want to do um, tip up carry, or I'm sorry, tip down carry. It comes out of the box, tip up carry, right hand side only. Um, fortunately, there's no left hand side options on this, but uh, what can you do? It also comes with, and I thought this was really cool, it comes with a, if I can get it out here, comes with a Torx tool. It comes with both sizes you need for this knife, and uh, it's probably going to be your most common sizes for uh, any folding knife, so that's really nice. You can never have too many of these um, in case you lose one or just want to put one somewhere else. As I mentioned before, this is a collaboration between Boker and Sniper Blade Works. You can see their logo right there. It's kind of their um, Jerry Garcia Grateful Dead modified logo. <clears throat> they do custom knives, um, so this was kind of a reach out on Boker's part to have them put out a more affordable knife that resembles their design, which they did excellently well. Uh, this knife retails for about 50 bucks, and in my opinion, it's worth every penny. It has G10 scales. It's got a somewhat closed design there. You can see a spacer back there. I believe it to be G10. Looks like it's G10. It has nice thick liners. So you can see there. This one came with a really good early lockup, ready to be broken in. Um, it does not have any thumb studs or hole. It solely works off of the flipper, which also acts as a finger choil in the open position. Um, it uses a blade stop pin on the back. Obviously, it doesn't have the stop or the uh, uh, thumb studs to act as a stop. It features a stonewash, a beautifully stonewash blade. Look at that big flat grind on there very little belly on this knife it's almost a straight shot across the bottom there kind of a very nice blade shape very wide very wide this way it also has fairly thick stock but not too thick which is really nice because it's actually not that heavy of a blade for how how wide it is right there um, the steel on this is 440C which I think was an excellent choice. Uh, 440C is just a really good all-around steel. Uh, it's durable, it holds its edge fairly well, it's corros uh, corrosion resistant. If it's properly heat treated, it's just a dynamite steel. Uh, kind of gets a bad rap, mainly because of how similar it sounds to 440 A and B, which usually just lists as 440, uh, but there's actually a huge difference in quality between 440 A and B and 440 C. 440 C is a really good steel, so um, don't, if you see a blade 440 C, don't turn away. Um, if it's produced by a quality maker, it's going to be excellent steel for you. Okay, now that I'm off my soapbox on there, let's talk a little bit about ergonomics. This looks like it would not be a particularly ergonomic knife, um, or at least to me. However, it actually really just melts in your hand. It fits just perfect for me. And it actually features kind of two thumb ramp positions. You've got one that is not jimped at all right here, which is a little bit further back, and then you can also kind of really choke up and press on it here. 
and the jimping by the way is done very well I'd say it's about medium to high cut I have felt I do own a few that are harder cut but I own more that are not cut as hard uh, but I'd say about a medium medium cut on that it does provide some good grip um, but with this finger choil action with the flipper you know you're you're not gonna lose this knife it feels pretty good in the reverse grip uh, not the best this doesn't provide a very good thumb placement um, so you probably I don't know if you'd want to use that or not but uh, but it works well enough overall uh, you know this would make an excellent chopper slicer it'd be a really good utility blade or just a collector's item uh, being that it's a collaboration with a up-and-coming custom shop this could uh, provide could potentially be a really nice piece in your collection the fit and finish on here really nice everything's perfectly flush there's no high point sticking out uh, the cuts on the G10 are done very well it doesn't really provide any sort of uh, grip but uh, it's mainly there for aesthetic reasons but um, you do kind of allows you to dig these fingers in a little bit more so that's nice um, considering you know assuming you're holding it right side it does offer a little bit of grip the uh, what was I just gonna say oh the uh, the flipper action is very very smooth um, as you can see I, I just barely got this so I haven't even played with it really and you can just flip it open even if my band-aided finger here uh, flips open really nice and it also has a really good detent I mean you really have to fling this thing to get that detent to come undone so just done really well it uh, features two bronze phosphorus washers which are my personal favorite and just another look at the blade itself here very nice definitely recommend picking one of these up won't be disappointed alright guys take it easy